Hey guys, welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how-to video on setting up a new gold shell E-KA1M. This is the Echo Series Caspa Miner from Gold Shell that mines Caspa. This is a 5.5 terahash model at about 1800 watts. There's also a low power mode which does about 3.8 terahash at about 11 100 watts. So thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for letting us showcase this to you guys. We're gonna set this thing up and so first things first, it's gonna arrive in a box like this. Okay, so once you open it up, it's gonna be packaged in here in a lovely foam padded packaging here, which is all well and good. There is power cables at the top as well as ears that you can put on yourself, rack mounted ears, okay? Just need a Phillips screwdriver to screw it in these handles if you choose to rack mount this, okay? You don't have to, but it is optional. Next, it does come with two power cables, okay? One is gonna be for in North America, okay? So a typical uh, C, 19 end here into a NEMA plug for North America. Then this is a type one end, uh, which I believe is mainly for people in Australia or uh, in parts of Asia. And the other end here goes into the E-KA1M, okay, right here. And there's also a power button here for switching the power on and off. There's also Ethernet, there's also Wi-Fi, which is really nice. Okay, so how to set this up. So once you have this in a place that you are okay to have Casper machine in your house to producing heat, okay, not just only mining Casper, but I guess one of the strong reasons for this is that this is gonna be quiet and you'll have the ability to pretty much plug this in anywhere around your house because it has wireless connection as well. All right, so first things first, so let's just pretend we're gonna put place it right here. Then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the power. Okay, so I just pushed that in. Now the other end is gonna go into a 120 volt power outlet for me since I am in North America. And that's gonna go like so. Next we're gonna plug in the internet. So just a wired cable for now. Later, once we get into the miner, we will be able to configure the Wi-Fi and then be able to unplug this. Okay, so that's it. Now, next thing we're gonna do is turn it on and it's going to turn on after about, I'd say five or 10 seconds or so. It does take a little bit before it turns on. Okay, you see it's flashing there. Then it's going to go into the controller, load up the software, and now we're gonna go into a computer so that we can log in to the Gold Shell E-KA1M. So I will see you guys in the computer and let's set this up. Okay, so I am now on the computer and all I did now was to get the IP address of the miner so that we can log into it. I'm using a freeware software called Advanced IP Scanner. Anyone can download it. All it does is scans your network and gives you the IP addresses of said device and then you'll want to scan your network and get the IP address. So the host name of this gold shell is QSDK. So the IP address I got here for it is 10100.100.200. Now for you guys, most likely it will be 192.168.1. something. So just be mindful of that. So you wanna copy the address here, okay, the IP address, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to a web browser and paste that into the top here, okay, into any web browser, and you'll be presented with the web GUI all right, the web interface of the Gold Shell E-KA1M. So now we're gonna, you wanna set it up to mine to your address. You wanna go to Miner tab on the left here, top left. Now we're gonna add our pool settings and such. But first we need to unlock it. Okay, so there is a lock unlock button at the top right. Okay, and you wanna put in the password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that that's the stock uh, username and password default username and password admin and then one through nine unlock and now you have it unlocked so now this is where we can add at the top right here add our pool settings okay so we need the pool we need our miner name and a worker name we'll add in after and also password which is can be anything okay so what we need first 
before we do anything is you need a caspa wallet okay and i highly recommend getting a tangem wallet this is a cold storage wallet solution so that you are your own self custodian for your crypto there's also bitcoin and many other uh, coins available on tangem as well and of course caspa if you guys are interested go check out redpanda.tangem.com you can get the official red panda mining tangem branded card you get three cards two of them are back up and get the receiving address for caspa okay so that is what you will want to specify in to here okay so once you have that paste it into your miner name here okay this is the wallet address your caspa wallet address then at the very end of your caspa wallet address make sure you put in a period and then any name that you want for my case here i'm just gonna call it e k a one m okay so that's just the name it can be anything that you want but just make sure that you distinguish it by having a period now you need a pool mining pool there are many different mining pools out there for mining caspa so now this is where you can choose any pool here for our case here we're going to choose cryptex.com i do like this pool and so for cryptex you should see that there should be caspa and you can hit the start mining button here and this is where they'll give you the pool addresses here so good thing about cryptex is that they have a geo automatic geolocation one so they have a global uh, mining pool here so there's a copy button you just copy that all right click that little copy button right in the middle and you're going to want to go back to the web GUI of your gold shell paste that into here and now you're going to hit apply okay make sure you put any any password doesn't matter one two three or x any any letter doesn't matter hit apply and it's going to show up here so now you want to make sure that you also um, depending on if you're going to have multiple backup servers it's it's highly recommended that you add in the other backup pools as well then in any case you can swap around the priority okay depending on which location you are through the gold shell win interface here just by clicking and dragging okay so yeah and you can easily remove the uh the address uh, the pool that you just added as well or multiple pools and so yeah it says drag the pool status bar up and down to change priority okay so it's going to be aut mining automatically now this miner has two different power modes hash rate mode and low power mode so make sure um you know this is where i want to specify the power consumption for this model is about 1800 watts on normal mode okay 5.5 terahash 1800 watts so if you're running this on 120 volt you're pretty much going to be maxing out or saturating that uh, 15 amp 120 volt circuit unless you had a 20 amp 120 volt circuit then you're okay but then you can do low power mode on this thing which is 3.8 terahash at 1100 watts which would then be under the 80 uh, percent rule for a 120 volt 15 amp circuit okay so you'll be fine there if you want to do low power mode on this thing you just switch it to it if you want to do it and hit apply okay and it would it will automatically change on the fly and it will change the uh, hash rate numbers here and everything i can already see it change at the wall but anyways you can see hash rate numbers all the different statistics here and also once you you know join your pool uh like say cryptex here you can easily just make sure you copy and paste your uh, your wallet address here so that you can see the device mining on pool okay like i have right here you can see the workers it shows up on the mining pool on cryptex successfully all right so really good here okay so there you guys go that's how you mine caspa on your e-ka1m okay i'll see you right back out okay it's mining away as you guys can see here as well as the power consumption on 120 volt power we're at 1130 watts 28 watts fluctuates a little bit but that's the power consumption of this gold shell e-ka1m and it's pretty quiet i know you can probably hear some other asics in my basement here those are much louder they take over 3000 watts so they're much louder but this thing is definitely quiet definitely definitely quiet okay my friends, let me know what you guys think about this how-to and if you have successfully set up your gold shell EAK1 
if you bought one. But thank you to Crypto Miner Bros. Link down below. Use code REDPANDA for $70 off if you guys are interested in any other ASICs on their website. All right, so I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.